hey how's it going so now you downloaded my template uh, this is the version 3.0 of my personal finance reality checker we are on the first sheet which is uh, net worth so I'm gonna zoom this in to 150 so you can see better all right you're good okay so this side is your assets and on this side is your liability so just a rule of thumb your asset is anything of cash value or anything that you can sell to give you some sort of cash all right so outstanding liability in our case here is basically all the outstanding debt okay so uh, let's start with the asset over here so money in bank one money in bank two so a lot of people have more than one bank account so you put whatever the balance is here and there this is your ASB1, ASNB1 and 2. Some people have fixed deposits, so you can place your, your fixed deposit value here. Um, mind you, all these values are all made up. I don't really have this much money. I wish I did. Moving on, you have your EPF, which is your KWSB, account 1 and account 2. Investment insurance. So in my case, I bought investment linked insurance and I have some sort of bonus cash value in my account. So I can put that value in here. All you got to do is log into your account to see that. So for Muslim Malaysians, we have Tabung Haji savings, so you can put the value here. Uh, gold current account value, so if you invest in digital gold, let's say Hello Gold, or maybe you invest with the main bank gold account, so you can put in the market value of what you own right here. So stock portfolio current value, so if you purchase an individual stocks, regardless if you're making money or losing money, put in the current market value of all your portfolio here. But just in case if you really need some cash you need to sell everything just to get the cash what is the amount of cash that you'll be able to get which is the market value so that that is the value here investment property market value okay this is for the property that you do not stay in this is an extra property that you rent out to for an investment so you can put the market value here as your asset because you can sell that property anytime to get some sort of money back which will not affect your building so your own house that you stay in you're not going to be affected you're not going to get kicked out of your own house so consider the market value of your property home your extra home as an asset so robo advisory portfolio if you invest in Wahid invest or uh, stash away you can put the current market value here once you key in all of that the total assets will be automatically calculated and let's move on to the outstanding so this is basically all the outstanding debt that you have so most of us have student loans key that in here most of us have car loans put the outstanding here home mortgage okay not to be confused with the last one but this is your home the one that you stay in i didn't put the market value for your own home in asset because if i buy a house i want to stay there probably forever and i have no intention to sell it so it's not an asset to me it's a liability i gotta pay it until it's done so that's the home mortgage so down here is your investment mortgage one. So basically the extra property that you have that you invested. The outstanding mortgage should be placed here and the investment property market value is here. So the, these things should uh, cancel off or if you owe less than what the market value is, then to theoretically you should be making some money. So if you have any personal loan outstanding here, financial mistake, whatever it is, I don't know. You got yourself into a, some sort of scam or whatever, put it here. You owe money to people, put it there. Okay, so the total liabilities column would be automatically calculated and therefore your net worth would be the difference between your total assets and your total liabilities. So if you want to read about how to classify this better, there's a link down here for one of my articles. So you can just control click here and it will go to that article.